Hi, I'm Thorsten from TS Systems and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use the layer effects of Photomate to create some interesting image filters. So I will split this video in a few parts here and in the first uh, part I will show you how you can use uh, the layer or gradient layers to create a tilt shift like look. In the second example I will show you how you can blur the background using the layers. Then I will show you how you can just effect uh, special colors of your image just using the layers. And in the last one I'm going to show you how you can combine these and also use the coloring tools to create a cool landscape shot. So yeah, let's start with the first part here. So to create a tilt shift like effect I just choose uh, a landscape shot from above here. Uh, you will use the you can use the layers and then you go to plus and add a new layer and choose the first icon which is the gradient. And now you track for the first area you want to you want to basically blur like the tilt and shift is usually you have a sharp area in the mid and then at the bottom and at the top it's going unsharp. And I will just track the top now and I will just drag it like this. I can change this later. And now I'm just adding a little bit of blur here. And you can see how it's blurring the background now. And you can play around with these values a little. I can now go to edit and change this so I want to affect a little more here. Just like this. And uh, I usually also enhance the lights just a little. Just to make these blown out areas uh, really, really uh, more visible. And now you just have to do the same for the bottom here. And so you just go to plus, go to the gradient and now drag a gradient to the bottom here, just like before. And since you just selected the, the layer uh, right now, it's coping the settings, which is uh, useful. So that's basically it. Uh, so the tilt shift like look is ready here. Yeah, so that's that for the first part. So in this part we are going to un, uh, to blur the background a little more here. As you can see it's not that uh, blurry because it wasn't a large sensor camera. So I just go to layers again and now I go to plus and choose uh, the lasso which is the icon right here. And now I'm dragging a lasso around the dog here. Just like this and going back. And now I'm inverting it, so I just want everything around the dog and I'm going to blur this area, as you can see here. Of course, you have to play around a little with the values. I prefer not blur too much here, because it makes it look unnatural pretty quickly. And yeah, that's that for the blurring effect. Now we're gonna do and change the colors. And in this example, I want just that the mushroom is colored but the grass around is black and white. And to do this we go to the layers again, choose plus and choose the selection tool here which is a threshold based layer. And now I'm choosing a point inside of the mushroom like here and now I first have to turn the saturation down but obviously now I will affect mostly the mushroom here. Um, so I have to invert again here because I want everything around and now I have to play with the threshold value here. Uh, as you can see the more I use the threshold the more it gets just the right section and you have to just play around a little with this. And now I also can choose the feather which is the smoothness of the uh, chosen area and I don't need that much smoothness. So I just turn this a little down here and as you can see I now have all the colors which are like the mushroom here. Um, yeah, But all the other colors like this one is still colored because it goes right through it so I need to decrease the smoothness again and as you can see the more I decrease the smoothness the more this will go black and white as well here. So yeah, that's that for the image coloring effects here. Yeah. Okay, so in the last one we are going to enhance this landscape shot a little here. And first you can see the sky is pretty gray here. So I can try to use the basics and 
decrease the lights a little but you can see it's basically yeah it's 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 completely gray so what i can try now is i can use um the layer tool and use and add a new uh threshold filter select the sky here and now i'm going to color the the area here i can go to the colorize and just choose a strength here and now it's going red so i have to go more to the blue side here just try it looks not that bad and now i'm also decreasing uh, the smoothness a little of this particular layer and now i can try to use the feather and try to really just select the sky here just maybe like this one Okay, so now I can move on with the basic adjustments. I can enhance the shadow, shadows just a little bit here to bring back some of the dark areas. I can also turn up the exposure a little. I can, I will look at the histogram here and maybe like this it would be nicely exposed here. And now I can also add some clarity. And I will look, but it's also pretty vibrant this image. So usually I use some vibrance, but I think in this example it's it's not necessary because I could even reduce the vibrance just a little, and I could make a little bit more colorizing in the sky maybe here. Just try how it looks, maybe like this. And yeah, now I can also compare the before and after, like holding this button, wait a few seconds, and now you can see that's how we change the image here. So yeah, that's that for this video. I hope you enjoy some of these tutorials and have fun editing your images. Bye.